I'm going to talk a little bit about the New World Order. I don't see myself as a specialist in politics, and I just observe. When I saw the music a couple years ago, I was like, I am so doomed, though, because no matter what I do, I'll get caught by these people because I'm marginalized and vulnerable, and they're like, well, you're just a victim. It's like, yeah, I will always be the sacrificial victim. The villagers will sacrifice me to try to save themselves. I'm not evil. Caleb's evil. And then it's like, are you kidding me? All the crap I managed to drag. Anyway, about um, their music, when, a few in particular here. Love and death, the abandoning. It's like, master, master, save me. Master, master, kill me. Why do I scream out? Why, do I, why am I in pain? And he has teenage girls. They're probably just moody and discovering themselves. But um, yeah, Madonna is the same thing with Get Stupid, who is the master and who is the slave. You know, it kind of looks like get up and do, you know, save the planet and stuff, but only if you're a master. Because if you're a slave like, or a nobody, then no, you don't get shit. Excuse my language. And uh, the only thing you're going to get if you try to say or defend yourself is that you're going to get the living crap fucked out of you. And excuse my foul language, I haven't cussed in a long time, but this bothers me even though I can't feel it. I know I'm a nobody. I'm not like trying to be a celebrity. I can't sing. I can't dance. I'm not cute. And I'm not particularly bright either. I mean, I'm just an average person trying to go about my days. It amazes me how much hate that I attract, though. I'm a negative entity, a demon in society. Now, anyway, back to slavery. They're not accountable for us. They're like giving us lobotomies. And like, they did it to me more than once. And I know it was really funny to see the retard kid hump the floor. But I mean, honest to God, it didn't have to go down like that. And I would like to talk for a minute about our democracy. I mean, I had some problems. And aside from the psychotronic stuff, which they didn't really believe the representatives, they were just like, well, maybe she needs to go to adult service because she doesn't feel like she's in control. They were very kind to me. They were, I haven't had one representative be bad to me, but in Madonna, or Britney's video, I'm not sure who wrote the song, Work Bitch, she's like, go call the police, go call the governor, I am the bad bitch, the bitch that you'll never know. And it's like, well, no, you'll never know me because again, I'm ordinary. What am I going to give the world that it should just pay attention to me? and slowly me. I mean, I stood up for myself this time. I'm like, I'm just not going to take it. But I did. I called the governor and I, well, I call, called several different representatives and stuff. And I asked like, did they have well work programs for disabled people? And they do. And I talked about, you know, other things that were bothering me. And they said, maybe I just needed some help. I haven't had one. I don't know if I've already said this because I forget everything. But he was like, I mean, I was even rude to a couple of them, and they were very polite to me and professional, and I don't know why Putin couldn't have been that way. He just wanted to be a badass. Because that's, that's what he's good at, is, and he made them all attack me, and it was annoying. But I did stand up for myself, and I'm very proud of myself for that, I'm going to say. I didn't just sit there on the floor and take it. But we, I don't understand this whole slavery thing without accountability. Like I said, it's annoying. Because we do have representatives that work in our interests and stuff. And uh, they've been chosen because they're educated and have knowledge about the system and they can actually help us. I'm not trying to become the governor. And I'd like to see Madonna handle all our cases, you know, and work. Is that how you say it? It's B-J-O-R-K. I don't know how to say it. She's doing the same thing. And she's like political animals, I guess. And she's like, don't let them do that to you. And then they're all dancing higher, higher. They've really banked with the sex weapon. All it does is make you numb and stupid. Like... I was already dumb, so it's not really a crime to humanity to have lost my intellect, but it really annoyed me. Because I am a person too, and if you're just going to be slavery so that you can torture us and feel superior in your mansions and houses, all decorated with jewels and, you know, fine pottery and just watch us all, like, in the dust, like in Suzanne Collins' The Hunger Games, I mean, Katniss. It's like our future. She did such a good job with that book. I commend her made a lot. But um, yeah, I did Dawn of the Hives and I wrote, read it a little bit ago and I was like, this is really horrible. I can't believe I ever tried to get that published or even um, put it on the internet. It's just, it's bad writing. But Australia likes it. I was 201 this morning. So I guess it just, it's kind of hitting the nerve that everybody's feeling. Like there are lots of books and stuff coming out about inequality like the one about the I forgot what it's called but they're in outer space and they're like free of poverty and then on earth we're all like moralized slaves I mean that's just not the future I want and that's not the future that needs to be bright for humanity we always overcome it but I mean hopefully we will continue to overcome it when governments become like that but um it's just it's just not a good way to live I don't 
I don't want to live like that. I don't want to have somebody just able to come up to my house and give me a lobotomy and then to tell me that I'm just a piece of crap and never going to rise. And I'm just, they usually repeat things that have been said to them, like they're nobody. Again, I know I'm nobody. I don't have a lot to offer. I just, I do my thing. And I am tortured by other people for it. But they're going to do this ridiculous dance. And I decided that, yeah, I was going to have to be part of the dance this time to try to overcome it, the balancing act. I was heard by them, so I did strike a nerve at least. Um, again, this is where we're going. It's not where we want to go. Um, I will overcome it with Katniss, but um, it's just it wastes a lot of humanity's time trying to, like, just destroy everything.